Hey friends, welcome back to the Spruce Stomper YouTube channel. Coming at you from the lake, driver's seat in the boat. We're not going at fast speed, we're going at slow speed. We're actually going at tow speed. Yeah, found a rock, a high speed rock. So we don't know what the damage is, but can't imagine it's good. Boating's expensive, they said, and I'm about to find out. We're all fishing as a group, and, and my awesome brother-in-law, he zipped over, we flagged him down. He grabbed uh, the kids and my wife and the dogs and took them all back to camp. It was so windy that with the kicker motor, there, there was no point. I mean, I was just treading water. All right, well, welcome to the garage. Uh, we're gonna dig into the boat motor leg of despair. Like I said, I, I thought that the new boat had rock crawling mode or four wheel drive, and it apparently it didn't. 40 miles an hour into solid stone, pfft, kaput. I watched a YouTube tutorial on how to take this apart. So if there's anybody worried that I don't know what I'm doing, I'm like 110% qualified now. Like anybody that's enthusiastic about something, you just look it up online. So props gotta come off. These four bolts gotta be undone. There's a bolt in the front. There's a speedometer cable, which is apparently a common hang up that people overlook. And there was supposed to be a bolt in here, which I'll show you up close. But apparently we're missing an entire fin here. Uh, I can only imagine that adds to the horsepower, right? Uh, less weight to worry about, but uh, maybe when I get these pieces, we'll see if we can get this, this missing fin and bolt that's supposed to go there too. So, oh boy, let's see what the damage is. Wow, we're in luck today. We got uh, employed a cameraman, right buddy? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so one brass nut keeper washer. Now we're going to make effort to keep track of the way this all went together because does that come off? Oh, and this comes off. Okay. That, that, that all was like that. Oh, you're doing an awesome job. Yeah. You just right in here. And then this comes off. Yeah. Well, so far so good, right? Yeah. That comes off the prop and look at this on the plus side. We didn't hit the prop, so that's okay. Oh, it's exciting times. Do you guys see how bright that is? This is the first time. This was the, what was it? GoPro Maker Edition, uh, GoPro 10. Okay. Came with the Volta stick, which came with a light. And I have actually never used the light until right now, so. No, but, you used the light. Did I? Oh, I can't see a dang thing. See this little guy? Right in the back of the leg. Okay, this is gonna run down. This is your speedometer cable and you have to disconnect that because if you drop the leg, if you drop the leg down and it takes that full weight, that speedometer cable, as I've learned on the, uh, the YouTube, it's just made of plastic bits and it will rip this right off. So there's a speedometer cable and there is one more, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, right in front of it, there's one more bolt. So um, turn that light off. We don't want to miss that. There's one bolt in the front. There's one bolt in the front. There are two bolts on either side. And typically there's supposed to be a plastic plug in this with a bolt that through bolts to a fin right here. Uh, it is completely missing on our, our, uh, our leg, but I don't think it's, it's not from the crash. Uh, it, it was just missing, right buddy? Just mm -hmm. gone. So it's how we got it. Okay. So we got the four bolts out. This rear bolt was missing. We got the front okay. nut off and the speedometer cable disassembled. So I don't know. I don't know how heavy this is going to be either. To be honest, it doesn't look that heavy. We're running blind here. I don't know what to expect. I don't want to break anything else either. Well, <laughs> chunks of the 
chunks of the leg falling off. Jeez, buddy, we might have to rewatch that video again too, because like I say, I don't know if this anode has to come off. Where does it split? I think it splits right here. That's all. Oh no, look at that. There is one more bolt at the back. Right here. We'll click this light on for you. Right up in there. See that? I knew there was something I was forgetting. There's a through bolt that usually comes through here. And then right up under here, there's one more bolt holding this thing together. So, well, there you go. That just, uh, that goes to show if, what's the deal? If it isn't coming, a, a hammer's not always a good way to go, buddy. Well, Lesson uh, learned, eh? Um, are you sure about it gonna get smashed or anything? Or? Oh, it's already smashed. Okay, well, let's take that bolt out and then we'll get... That doesn't really matter. We'll be back in, we'll be back okay. in gear, yeah. Let me get this last. Oh, see, I'm really enjoying that. Nothing's that tight. Oh yeah, the whole thing's falling off already. So I'm gonna take this out. Can I hold it? I don't know. Oh, I don't wanna wear this on my foot. All I have on is my safety Crocs. <laughs> got my leg under it. I don't think it's that heavy. Your Crocs don't do anything. You got that right. They lead to disappointment and broken toes. Okay, the bolt's out. I'll leave okay. that with you. All right, you supervise. Here we go. Hit it. Ooh. What's that? I have no idea, to be honest. You know? Oh, it's hung up on something. Shit. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, gnarly. What is it? Look at that. Freedom. Uh, Freedom, but... Shit. Leaking. Lucky. There. We'll put the box under it. All right. Successful, Well. But, uh, little... Not so, um... I think it's great success. It's, it's good success, but a little gooey. A little gooey. And what in the heck is this piece? What is this? A chunk of rubber that came from where? Nobody knows. Come from somewhere. I guess we'll f we're going to learn where that came from. Well, I guess we'll have in to the have a little dander. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to have a little gander. Please. Do you want to tell? Do you want to tell everyone what we named the boat? Yeah, Judith. 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 Your mom named the boat Judith. Yeah. It sounded like a good name that you could say real firm. Damn it, Judith. Judy. Judy. <laughs> All right, this is heavy. I'm gonna put this down. Uh, that's funny. <sighs> we'll clean up a little bit, and we'll show you what kind of carnage is going on here. What do you All right, well. We've consulted on the subject and we've made the executive decision that this is already broken. So rather than struggling to find out how it's held together inside, we're just gonna do this because it's... So we can see everything. It's already broken. Holy shnikes. Well. Already broken, so it doesn't really matter. If there is a lot of pieces in there. Yeah, like, like, this is pretty interesting now. Like, like, like a lot of puzzle pieces or a lot of Lego pieces. I wonder if we can do Those things are only for me. I wonder if we can get a close up People of that. This is kind of interesting. So you can actually see right in the guts here. I mean, it's just pretty, sim pretty simple. There's your. It's Puzzle. There's your drive gear, like puzzle. and then you've got um, one gear for forwards and one gear for reverse. And up here, there's yeah, your shifter, good. right? That runs to the yeah. cable. Good. Oh, hey helpers, quiet down for a sec. And it just shifts between the two gear sets like that. And you'll see, see those teeth, those dogs. Mm -hmm. These gears have those same mating part of those dogs on that selector so you just click you know forward and reverse like that it selects so this continuously drives and then it just decides which of these gears it's going to engage as to which way to turn the output shaft that's kind of neat 
none of this looks that bad, to be honest. Like, I think it's none of the gears are busted. Are we missing any? Just the metal looks like it. Yeah, just the case. Just the case. But I don't All know if we can. Well, let's turn this. So that's engaged in gear. And it's not missing, like none of these gears are missing a teeth. All right, we'll scratch that. We got to inspect them a little bit closer here. And um, there's just a few things I'm not comfortable with because of the way, so it jammed, it jammed this bearing. It actually hit so hard that it unseated this bearing, smashed everything backwards, which I, like I said, you got to replace the bearings anyways. These gears look fine. And I don't think you'd have to throw it up in the lathe. I don't think this shaft is bent, but what is bent is this shift fork here. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it's definitely, it's torqued this, this whole little pin down here that goes in the housing. And it, this whole thing would need to be taken apart. And that shift fork is actually bent far enough that it's, it almost has started to break this little tit off the bottom. So the shift fork's no good. I hate to say it, pal, but I think we stress tested this thing so hard that it's, uh, well, it's become a boat anchor itself. So, so this recap, I have the options of buying the bits and pieces, which I quickly think will exceed the cost of the reman unit that I found by the time we buy the bearings and the parts and the bits and the pieces and the, and the, and the time. You know, I didn't used to be a huge believer. You know, I, I'm, like, I'm like hardcore do-it-yourself, not to save the money, but just because I want to do it. But I just, I don't have the time. I mean, we're, we're in crunch construction season and I don't want to see this boat sit here over the winter as a forgotten project. I mean, we bought it to use it. So we got a couple months left where you guys actually want to be in the boat fishing. So I'd like to get I'd like to get things back in motion. 1400 bucks for the used unit or third option. And, and again, let me know what you guys think about this. Come on, get in the comments. Let's do this together. Uh, there's a outfit out of Quebec that is selling Merc Cruiser and Volvo and a whole host of other, uh, their aftermarket parts, basically. They got a complete reman, or not reman, they're brand new, replica. Merc Cruiser Gen 2 lower unit, uh, 1700 bucks, but it's brand new. I didn't read what they give for warranty. I'd assume like any recreation equipment, it's, it's pretty darn short for warranty, especially because they're not installing it. So you get what you get, but that's an option as well. So you quickly escalate rebuilds, you know, to the 1400 bucks for a used remand kind of unit that's been spruced up a little bit. You jump up $1,700, $1,800 for a made, well, we know where they're made. It's probably, it's probably been made overseas and shipped over here. So I don't know what kind of quality you're getting. What do you do? You know, what do you do? You only want to do it one time. So we got to pick one. All right, well, thanks for following along. We're going to end it there. You can see where this is headed. There's only one way this is going to go. I mean, we're going to get the parts. It is probably not going to be to fix that. We're going to bolt it back on and we're going to have some fun. So we'll bring you along for that. Maybe we'll go fishing together. Spruce Stopper likes to have a little bit of fun and uh, it's just going to go back on with the same few bolts that I uh, took out to take it off. Do remember, there's a bolt from the top down here in this hole. You should have a plastic plug, bolt from the top, bolt from the bottom. Remember the one I forgot, 916 socket. You're going to need that puppy out. You got two bolts on either side. 5 8 wrenches for those. You got a 5 8 nut in the front up there with the speedo cable. Done deal. And the best piece of advice that I learned from another video, and I'm going to pass it on to you guys, make sure for uninstalling and reinstalling that lower leg on this Alpha 1 Merc Cruiser, that that shift lever is pointing straight towards the front of the boat. That's where it wants to be to pop out so it slips through the housing. And that's all I know so far. So uh, thanks again. If you like the content, if you like the content as much as I enjoy making the content for you, well, uh, you know, click pause because I know you're gonna go ahead and watch a few more of my videos and walk over to your neighbor's house and tell them to subscribe as well. I'll catch you on the next one.